The Retirement Halftime Show. Maintain your lead in retirement. You're watching the Retirement Halftime Show. I am your host, Alexander Joyce, and with me, of course, is Alex Clark, um, our co-host. Today's segment is uh, a little bit different, yeah. right? Because this segment comes from real life experience. This segment comes from, from a, real, a real client in terms of a story, and we like to call this set it and forget it, yeah. right? Because that's what a lot of people do. They, they, they actually take that leap of faith, they go meet with an advisor, Maybe that advisor over time has retired and maybe their, their account has been dormant or maybe their portfolio or their plan has been handed down to an advisor that they now don't know. Maybe that firm has been taken over. These are all real life examples, right? Um, maybe they just, uh, they got that letter in the mail from their custodian saying that your, your account is being now assigned to so-and-so and they just set it, they forget it. They autopilot. Kinda, autopilot. Right. They look at the statements every once in a while. They feel comfortable enough, right? They don't want to make any changes, but over time, that could hurt, could it, Alex? Oh, absolutely. I mean, not evaluating, not having that relationship, the set it and forget it mindset um, may not be the best long-term strategy, right? Um, scaling back some, getting a little more aggressive if the opportunity presents itself. Sure. That's, uh, that's, that's all things that we like to work with our clients on, you know, whether that's through a review, follow-up calls, um, newsletters, right? Just encouraging them to come in and get out of that set it and forget it mindset. And we see it a lot, you know, Alex, when you think about it, yeah. the folks that come in. I started the job 28 years ago. I just put all of it in. I was talking to my cube neighbor right next door, <laughs> yeah. and she was up 15%, and I was hardly making any money. Yeah. I don't understand I, why. Yeah, I, right? I, yeah. So being involved, right? Having that conversation or reaching out to somebody uh, that you feel that you kind of want to explore what else might be, yeah. it's, uh, that's important. Yeah, because you, 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 I don't know what the percentage is, but I, knew, I, I probably know it's a big one. The people, the individuals that um, set their 401k in what's called a um, targeted fund. Target date fund. Right, target date fund. They, set their date, they start their, their employment or their, their, their year 15 in their employment and they come out with this new target date fund and they set it on uh, 2020 in the next you know, 15 years. It's on 2020, they set it, they forget it. And then when they get into retirement, their earned income situation changes. Now they need to start taking money out of their portfolio, but they're still in the same position, mind frame that they were when they set it and forget it, yeah. when they were in, when they were in their, their working years. The priority has completely changed. Yeah, or they set it years ago and forgot about it, right? And they didn't know what that number represented. Ah, yeah, just yeah. this one. You know, That's like true. throwing a dart at the dartboard. Exactly I'm gonna pick right. this one, right? Not fully understanding what that meant for them. Yeah in the near term and the long term. Yeah, don't you, don't you think that um, a, little bit of, a little bit of that has to do with um, just not really, not feeling comfortable about what to do yeah. and when to do it? Um, maybe, maybe just kind of not knowing, not don't know what they don't know, so they just don't do anything. Don't do anything. What was the saying, burying your head in the sand? Yeah. Right? Um, that's, that's difficult. So I think that what we want to encourage those um, that are in that mind frame or believe that they're in that situation to do is we, first of all, want to encourage them to call. Uh, we want to encourage them to um, get that second opinion yeah. just to get the analysis. Yeah, I'd okay. like to exaggerate or expand on that point. Sure. Like, you know, we hear it all the time. Well, I've worked with so-and-so for decades, yeah, it's true. right? And I just don't feel like I'm getting it, but there's a level of comfort there, right? That is an opportunity cost that you are giving up, right? Just by having a free consultation, a one-on-one -on -one with us, no pressure at all. We can maybe give you recommendations that you could come back to your advisor and say, why aren't you talking about these? Things? Maybe he doesn't feel comfortable, like you said. Maybe he's kind of forgotten about you. Maybe the relationship has grown stale, if you will. So the set it and get, forget it mindset, um, yeah, it's uh, one that I would strongly recommend against. Sure. Be more of an active investor. 
Sure, sure. It's the it's the old mentality of active versus passive. Sure. Um, you know, Alex, the fact is things are changing, right? I mean, economic conditions are changing. Interest rates are changing. Government policy is changing. Mortgage rates are changing. Um, things change. And the fact is these things should be reviewed at least annually. At least. Right? Would you agree? And, and I think that and I think that if things are volatile, they should be looked at quarterly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not uncommon for us to see you know, every other month clients coming in just for general questions, you know. So I agree. Um, annually at a minimum, if not regularly on a quarterly basis. They need checkups. Al Alex, I absolutely agree. If you have any questions about this, pick up the phone and call. Let's start the conversation today. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. The Retirement Halftime Show. Maintain your lead in retirement. There's some things in life we can always get back. Money? That's one of them, but time, that can never be replaced. Your kids, grandkids, they don't care how big your house is or the type of car you drive. The time they spend with you, that's what matters most. Allow us to help take your financial concerns away so you can enjoy the more important things in life. Call us today at 317-903-9157. Schedule a no obligation visit and rejoice in your retirement. 